guys, it's Ricky from Ricky's Pretties. I've got another journal flip for, flip through <laughs> for you guys today. I just made so many of them and I haven't really posted any of them in here on my YouTube channel. So I just I do a couple of flip throughs. This one's in my Etsy. It's Ricky's Pretties, all one word, no apostrophe or anything like that. If you want to find me on Etsy. And this one I'm calling it's like a bird slash garden journal. That's the theme. And I did quilt this fabric on my machine. It's got little wavy lines and some straight lines in it. It's cute. It's got some batting in it, so it does look actually quilted and has that feel to it. Soft, bendable cover, and it's got a wraparound closure held together by a little uh, crystalline floral stick pin with a little faux pearl. And then here's a little bow up here. And I've got some lattice work lace, which I thought lended itself well to the garden theme. And this is the back cover, real simple, just with the lace and the trims and the birds. Of course, the birds. And it's got lots of beautiful, these are acrylic beads in gorgeous colors that go with the journal. And we'll just undo our little stick pin. thought that would be a cute way to do a closure on the journal. And this just wraps around. And then we'll just get to it. I've used a garden themed Stamperia cardstock in this journal. I don't have a computer, so I don't use printables in my journals. I either use just what I can, whatever I can dig up here that I have on hand for magazines and um, dictionaries and other books and things like that. Um, and things that I find at thrift stores, or you know, I'll combine some of those things with cardstock. And um, this is some dictionary page that I've um, decoupaged a napkin to. I use napkins too for a lot of things. I got some paper doily here. This is a book page, the poem about summer and little caterpillars. And here's some wasps. What's a garden without bees and wasps? There's a poem about wasps. <laughs> and then this is a belly band. This design of belly band I learned to do from Natasha on Treasure Books. She has a YouTube channel called Treasure Books. I will mention her, call her out because she's absolutely wonderful. You need to check her channel out if you haven't already. She is on that. Basically, her channel inspired me to do journals in the first place because she made such pretty ones I thought I have got to try this and I fell in love with them. I really 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 like making the journals. She's right it's really fun to work with paper. More cardstock. Ooh the little robin. So cute. I had a robin build a nest under my carport and my son came over the day that the baby bird decided to fledge out of the nest and it fledged right on top of his pickup truck as he pulled up into the driveway. It just dropped out of its nest right on top of the pickup truck right in front of his face. <laughs> he was so surprised. I said, I didn't even think about telling you about the baby bird because I didn't think he would just jump out of the nest on top of your pickup truck. <laughs> That cute little thing did and then it just kind of flittered off into the lawn and then into some bushes where mommy and daddy are feeding it till it gets big. That was pretty cute. Cute little story. I love birds. I like all kinds of things y'all. I'm just into everything. This says it takes a long time to grow an old friend and it sure does. It takes a long time to learn how to keep them around. And then um, this is a calendar, which is pretty cool. It starts out with January and goes through, you know, June on this side. And then here you have July and it just, it does the same thing over here. So I'll pull that out. But it's got writing space on the back. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Little cat clips. I've got some kitty cat clips in here. Because, you know, cats and birds. <laughs> My cat's always yakking at the little birds. You know how they do at the door when they see a bird. She's like, <laughs> making that little noise. 
the little noise that cats make when they want something that they can't have. <laughs> That's her. Rosemary. These are so cute little, they look like little gardening tags. Markers, that's the word I'm looking for, markers. And this is a card. This is another, it says life began in a garden. I thought that was cute to pair along with the little baby birds. These are blue birds just singing for their supper. So cute. And then this card is blank inside so you can write in there. Cute little journaling spot. And we'll just kind of keep flipping through here. There's lots of journaling space and places to put photos and things like that. Here's the other part of the wasp page. And another poem about wasps. More caterpillars. There's a poem about the caterpillars and a cocoon. That little book was just the cutest. Had the prettiest pages in it. And that's the end of the first signature. We'll get on into the second one. And this is another thing that I saw Natasha do on her channel. She made these little um, tags that look like mason jars. And I loved that idea. And I made a bunch of them. And they are just so cute. I just love it. So I incorporated some of that into this journal. Thought it would be cute. Because what do you do with all the stuff you grow in the garden? You can it. I used to can too once upon a time, a long time ago when I had time to do it. It's very time consuming. Gnats, of course, there's gnats everywhere in the garden. And ants too. And rain. And here's a pretty blue jay. And it too is a card that you can write inside. Another pretty bird. Some owls that don't look too happy. This one, he's watching something. Look at this little guy. He's like, hey, <laughs> quit sitting on my head. <laughs> he's cute though, isn't he? Cute, cute, cute. A little chickadee dee dee dee. That's how they earn their name with their little song that they sing. And here's another little tag. Papers so pretty. I love Stamperia papers. In case you can't tell, I usually I find their cardstocks just to be so pretty and inspiring. Maybe someday I'll be able to do printables and design some and all of that, but right now, you know, it's just not in the works. You need a computer. Do you need to have Wi-Fi and I don't have home internet. I just use I buy lots of data and I use my phone It's about all I've got around here And this is a little package of ephemera It's got some bits and bobs in there little things that you can use to decorate your journal and make some tags or bookmarks or whatever you want. You can write or design on top of this envelope and tuck little things inside it. And here's a goldfinch and a cardinal. Can't have birds without a cardinal. I just think they're so beautiful. More ants. More gnats. And here's a fly. We don't like flies, do we? <laughs> Not my favorite bug in the whole world, but there's a purpose for everything, I guess. Here's another pretty little tag. God made them for some reason. I just don't know what. Get rid of garbage, I guess. Because that's what they do. And look at this. This is a napkin. Look at all the little birdies. 
<laughs> napkin that I used. But that turned out so cute. I just love how that turned out. It makes a nice paper and you can put photos or something on there or glue a piece of paper on there and write on it. Just whatever you want. If you get it, it will be yours to create with. And here's some flowers. I put a lot of gardening magazines in here. And this is in this cute little bunny rabbits. Because there's bunny rabbits in gardens too. And the one I had in Pennsylvania, the bunnies would come and try to eat it up. I had to plant those giant marigolds. That actually did stop them. They didn't come in the garden anymore after I did that. They don't like the way they smell, I guess. That did actually work. I was very surprised at that. There's no way that could work. But it did. It did. It cut the little critters out. Here's the bees. This one's called Bee Song. I know there are bees in here somewhere. <laughs> Grasshoppers. A little tag. Time. Birdhouse. More grasshoppers and crickets. Crickets are my next least favorite bug after flies. I don't know why. They're just, you know, there's something about them. They're crunchy. <laughs> I don't know if that's crazy, but, you know, it's just one of those bugs that you don't like to step on because it just, crun it, you know, it makes that crunchy sound. No, no, no. No crunchy bugs. I don't like bugs anyway. That's one thing I don't like, bugs. And this is a um this is a clip. And it's holding on to this envelope. It's a hidden paper clip. I'll put that back on later because I can't see how to get it back on there. I was hypnotized once y'all at a comedy club. I didn't think I was gonna be hypnotized. My friend coerced me into getting up on the stage. And I did it just because I didn't think I was going to work, you know, that it was going to work. And it did. The only part I remember of the whole entire thing was him telling me I had bugs in my hair. And my friend said I almost ran off the stage because I was busy just raking my fingers through my hair at like a mad woman and screaming. And I almost ran off the stage. He had to put me back in my little chair. And ever since he did that... Ever since that happened, I cannot handle bugs. I can't handle them to get on me. I guess I stayed hypnotized. I don't know. More like traumatized. <laughs> because I had a praying mantis on me one time and I thought I was going to hyperventilate. They had to get me a paper bag. Literally. Because I was about to have a cow. And <laughs> I used to be one of these kids that could put bugs in those little bug zoos, you know. I used to catch bugs and put them in coffee cans and stuff and just keep them for a while and then let them go um but can't do that anymore nope, nope. here's some more of that bird paper and this is um a little paper envelope that i made a little bag and it's got more little tags in here a couple more little tags and you can hide a little note inside there where whatever you want to do but it lives right there for now till you decide to move it. A hummingbird. Crows. Here's another little blue jay. He's got a peanut. A wren. I think that's a wren. I'm not sure how to, these are toehees? I don't know how to say that, but they're really pretty. Another little cat clip. And that's another card that's blank inside. I won't get it off of there because you know what it is. Coloring book page. A little window. A little how, a little wren sitting on top of bicycle.
the other side of the coloring page. More journaling space. Birds. I put a lot of magazine pages in here from the birdies. And this is just an envelope, a big envelope that has a neat writing surface and good place for pictures. This is a little mini tag with, of course, little birdies. Lots of birds. If you like birds, this is a journal for you. And that's the flap to that envelope. And you can use this as a tuck space. You can tuck something in there. Dust of snow. Which will be the end of the garden. And we're getting to the end of this journal. There's some more little birdie tags. Just waiting for you to write something on. A little note. I'll draw a little picture. And here's another little hidey hole where you can put something if you want to. And some more tags. And the last page, there's more cards in here. You can either leave these whole or cut some of these little images out and make them into ephemera, whatever you want to do with them. But they do have neat little writing spaces on the back. So you could just use them that way. And see here, you could just tuck that right in there like that. In fact, I think I'll just leave it there because that's a neat little tuck spot. All right, guys, that is it. I hope I didn't bore you with all my crazy stories. But thank you for tuning in to this flip through. And if you like it, you can find it on my Etsy shop. I will put a link in the description box down below. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed to my channel, please do that. I will be doing more crafts more crafting projects. I've got a couple of ideas in mind. I just got to get them underway and do them in front of the camera, which sometimes it's hard to do because, you know, it's, it's kind of my, um, my little, my mellow time. Crafting is very therapeutic to me. So sometimes I just don't want to do it on camera. Sometimes I just want to get into myself and just do it, which is kind of, what I do with the journals. I don't do them on camera. Number one, because I'm just all over the place. I mean, I am not organized at all. You should see what happens to my card table when I start trying to make a journal. I mean, I literally just have stuff piled everywhere. I will have just mountains of things and uh, yeah, there's no way. You'd, you would spend the entire video just watching me dig through stuff. So that's why I don't do those. I'm not organized enough to be a good teacher, but if you'll check out that channel I referred you to, uh, Treasure Books, um, she's got a wealth of knowledge and she's very organized. You can learn a lot from her, I promise you. Um, but do check out my Etsy shop if you are interested in this journal. I have others there as well. And I will see you guys next time, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.